So in today's day I'm going to install the center stand finally after finding the uh, what those are springs with the new hardware and which after I need to remove all of these plastics of this scooter all the fairing and maybe I could take off the front wheel also I don't know, but yeah, let's get into it. So to install the center stand I need to put one long bolt through here and on this side a bolt here and on the other side as well. Now the center stand is uh, on the scooter and it looks amazing. Uh, it originally was black and now it's uh, silver so it will really well pop with the variator cover. So yeah, I think the silver color was a really good choice. So let's enjoy the center stand before I tear this whole thing down to its core. take off the passenger uh, hand brace uh, hand place uh, which after I can remove the tail lights and the blinkers the tail light keeps the blinkers in place so uh, technically blinkers don't have any screws or like actually they just don't have so yeah I'm gonna use a sheet What is it? A bolt remover. Yeah, I know I need to push this out. Don't hate me on in the comments. You have a rusty bolt. Yeah, I know. I need some new. which after I can lift the whole seat up. So yeah, seat is now removed, which after I can remove the these lights from the back. Screw 
behind a panel. Usually there would be more screws here, here and two at the bottom to take off this ball under the battery there's nothing only the uh, be careful with this you need to push it out of that hole right there and these cables will just follow the huge hole what's there so under the battery there's no screws Step is to take off these plastics, then the what is it, the magneto thing. That's the issue, but that may be causing some issues. That has just rusted clean shut. I could test it, sand that down and test to fire it up and see will that fix my issue? Potentially. Let's see if it will start up and run as it should with just a sandpaper. So as you guys can see I got little bit too carried away with removing parts from the scooter. Uh, let me explain why I did this. First of all, I have done this many times before. So second of things, there was like half of the screws missing. Like there should be more screws, but um, I have been lazy and put forgot to put some of them or they were hard to access so I just didn't uh, care to put them in and they were not necessary to have but the primary thing why I removed all of these plastics to get to this wire the this end comes from the stator goes all the way to the ACDC but that's what I don't I don't care about that. That is responsible for uh, charging the battery, having the, all the lights working. Uh, actually, the headlight works without the ACDC, but uh, so the blinkers, for example, don't work, and the I think the instrument cr clusters lights also don't work without the ACDC thingy. So, because that's not really necessary, at least I think so, because the stator loom uh, separates right about here. This part goes to the ACDC and this part 
goes to the CDI block. And the CDI unit is over here. It plugs into that. And that cable goes to the spark plug. So yeah. I need to ch check the wiring to see if that's broken. But first I will check the stator this evening if that has the correct resistance. If it has, then I need to check the CDI. And if that has also correct resistance in ohms, then I need to turn down that loom and see where the hell the problem is. And take a look into the wiring diagram about the ACDC, how it's all connected and does it affect the uh, CDI system or the stator in any way. Or do I have just a background? But yeah, I need to clean up this mess.